The stock market is where people buy and sell investments, such as stocks. The buying or selling of an investment is called trading. In the US, the stock market is typically open from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's closed on weekends and some holidays. The stock market isn't the same thing as the economy. It's just part of the economy. A stock represents a piece of ownership in a company. For example, you might own stock in Amazon. So if you said any of this, you'd be correct. I bought stock in Amazon. I sold shares in Amazon. I invested in Amazon. Stocks are traded in units called shares. Every trade has two sides, a buyer and a seller. Let's say you want to buy a share in Amazon. If someone else is selling a share and you agree on a price, then a trade may happen. The price of a stock can change throughout the day. You can search for companies using their ticker symbols or abbreviations. For example, Amazon's ticker symbol is AMZN, while Microsoft's is MSF. Now remember how you bought a share of Amazon? You can do that because in our example, Amazon is a public company. That means its shares are owned and traded by members of the public like you. By comparison, most private companies aren't available on the stock market. They usually belong to a small group of people and ownership isn't widely traded. X, formerly known as Twitter, was delisted from the New York Stock Exchange last October and became the highest profile newcomer to the Forbes 2022 list of America's largest private companies. Other large private companies include Albertsons, PwC, Cargill, Deloitte, just to name a few. Whether we like to admit it or not, investing can be emotional. Stock prices can go up, but they can also go down. That's where your risk tolerance comes in, or how much you're willing to bear the ups and the downs. Some investors prefer a more conservative approach, while others are more aggressive. There's not a perfect strategy. Instead, you can revisit your investments over time, especially as your needs and risk tolerance changes. For example, if you're closer to your retirement, your risk tolerance needs to be low. If you're interested in learning more about the stock market, there are many resources available online and in libraries. You can also talk to financial advisors to get more personalized advice. I have pasted some links below to provide you with more resources on the stock market. Thanks for watching.